Hey guys, it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a Thanksgiving video of being thankful for coffee and concealers. So I thought that I would talk about some of my favorite concealers. Honestly, I have no favorite coffees because I put cream and agave in all of my coffee beverages, which my husband tells me is terrible. <laughs> he says that I ruin coffee by putting cream and sugar in it. I mean, that's how I like my coffee though. For the last four years on Thanksgiving, I have been thankful for coffee and concealer. It is also by no coincidence that four years ago my daughter was born. So uh, I have been thankful for caffeine and makeup for quite some time. I did one of these favorite concealer videos a long time ago, but since then so many concealers have come out, I've tried so many more, so I thought that I would just do a little update and uh, tell you some of my favorites as of late. This is by no means an extensive list, this is by no means the end all to be all. If you have a favorite concealer that I have not talked about, please let me know down in the comment section below. I will also leave timestamps for the different concealers in the description box below, so if you are interested in a very specific concealer, you can just skip right ahead. The first concealers that we are talking about are from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I use these in almost every single video. I don't think that that is a secret. I love the new new, it's been out for a while, the e.l.f. Camo Concealers in both the hydrating and the matte formula. The matte formula is their e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and then the hydrating formula is the e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer. Although I feel like calling it a hydrating concealer is a little misleading personally. Anyways, these retail for $6. You can find them at elfcosmetics.com. You can find them at Ulta, Target, Walmart, anywhere where Elf Cosmetics is sold, you can pretty much find these out. They are widely popular. A lot of them, a lot of people reviewed these as a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. I don't know if they're exact dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, but these pack a punch in terms of coverage for being only $6. The matte formula comes in 26 shades, and the hydrating formula comes in 25 shades. So for a drugstore brand, it does have quite a shade range. Um, Jackie Ina has some really good videos on using these, as well as the shade ranges a little bit more in depth on that. I really like these because one, they're super affordable at $6 each. A little bit goes a long way and they are super full coverage. The matte formula, I personally do not prefer to use the matte formula underneath my eye as much. Sometimes in the summer I will use the matte formula underneath my eye or over my face because it does help to control like oils and sweat and things like that. I really like the matte formula as a eyeshadow base. That's what I used as an eyeshadow base today. The hydrating formula, why I say this is kind of misleading as a hydrating formula, it has a satin finish and it still dries down quite a bit. It's what I'm using underneath my eyes today and I do have a color corrector underneath it. It sits on the under eyes very, very well. The skin underneath your eyes is super delicate. I just find that the hydrating formula is a little bit easier on the skin um, rather than the matte formula. I don't know too many people that struggle with like crazy oil underneath their eyes. Maybe you do. If you do, go with the matte. The sat or the hydrating formula, satin, still dries down quite a bit. I just feel like it's a little bit more gentle on my skin. That's why I prefer the hydrating formula for like underneath my eyes a little bit better. The only downside that I will say to the e.l.f. camo concealers is that it is a little bit tricky to color match yourself, so just be aware of that. You can use their color matching tool on the e.l.f. website, however, I found that to be not the best in terms of how it matches, um, so you kind of have to use the recommendation with your own discernment um, and also kind of look to see what you like in concealers. I personally really like my concealers to be a little bit lighter and a little bit more on the yellow side. Um, if you want a 
shade that matches your skin exactly again you just have to be a little bit more discerning because it is difficult especially with the matte formula because they do oxidize a little bit um so that sometimes if you get your actual skin tone match when it oxidizes it'll be a little bit more dark or a little bit more on like the orange side so just be aware of that other than that i have no bad things to say about this the next concealers that we're going to talk about I have two batches of color correcting concealers, so not technically concealers, but they do fall under the concealer category. These are also from e.l.f. They are the color correcting sticks. I have them in green and the corrects dark circles light skin tones, which is like a light apricot orangey shade. They do also have one more, which is for um, dark skin tones, and it is to correct dark circles, and it is like a darker orange shade however I am of a more fair complexion so I do not need that product um, these are four dollars each however I stagged mine at the Dollar Tree I am a little concerned that they might be discontinuing this product fingers crossed they don't I personally like these because they are a little bit more of a thicker pastier color corrector they are extremely pigmented as well a lot of the times I have issues with color correctors because their formulas are very thin and they don't pack a lot of pigment in them and so then when I blend it out it kind of just shears out to nothing and doesn't actually color correct where these sticks I'll show you they're really they're on the thicker side and they are very pigmented so when i do go to blend them out before i put my concealer or my foundation on top of them they do actually color correct i use both of these underneath my eyes it kind of depends my under eye area is not like blue like a lot of other people's mine is more of a red so i'll use the green sometimes i'll use the apricot if i need more like brightening it just kind of depends on like what my skin is needing that day but for four dollars if you are struggling with finding a concealer that is full coverage enough i implore you to try and dive into some color correcting again elf products love them they are great quality for not a lot of money the next concealer that I am talking about is from Benefit Cosmetics. It is the Boing Cakeless Concealer. It is basically the liquid form of their Boing concealers. There's like a whole Boing line of these. This retails for $22. You can find it at Sephora, Ulta, Benefit Online. They come in 14 shades. Weep womp. And as I was looking and researching this, the 14 shades are not necessarily like deep skin friendly however the other side of that is that i think the boing cakeless concealer is meant more as a highlighting concealer rather than like a skin matching concealer not saying that excuses the limited shade range just saying that might be the thought behind not having such an extensive you know extensive range so 14 shades it has like a naturalish matte-ish finish. I don't want to say it's completely matte. It does dry down quite a bit. However, I found that this gives me a much natural finish or a much more natural finish than I would expect. This isn't as full coverage as I was anticipating it being. The way they advertise it, I thought it was going to be like, you know, cover everything. It's not that full coverage but it is like medium to buildable coverage that it still goes into my top favorites especially during the summer when I want something that looks a little bit more natural and a little less like I'm wearing a full face of makeup uh, the Boing Cakeless Concealer takes the cake. The next concealer that I'm talking about is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer this retails for $12.99 however prices vary depend on retailer you can find it where any L'Oreal products are sold however L'Oreal online has it listed at $12.99 uh, it has 25 shades and this is full coverage <laughs> like this is not for those light I want to look like I'm not wearing any makeup kind of days like this is full coverage sort of concealer 
It's not heavy and it isn't thick. It does say that it has a matte finish and I haven't used this in quite some time because the shade that I absolutely fell in love with, Oatmeal, I lost somehow and this vanilla shade is a little too on the yellow side for me. Again, it's a drugstore brand so it is a little bit more on the difficult side to match your shade if you need it. However, you do not need color correctors with this or <laughs> any of that jazz. Like, this is full coverage. You could probably even wear this as a foundation as well, or like contouring or things like that. This is one that I would say you probably could use one uh, a little bit lighter than your under for your under eyes. Then you could also use one that matches your skin tone for blemishes and things like that, because this is heavy duty. This is like full glam, going out, I don't want anybody to see my actual skin concealer. If you haven't noticed, I have a trend of full coverage, I don't want people to see my skin concealers. Because to me, it's either full coverage or nothing at all. That's just how I feel. The next concealer that we are talking about is from Revolution Pro. This is the Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer. This retails for $5.99 to $12. You can find it at Ulta or Revolution Pro or RevolutionMakeup.com. This I actually did a video for a while back in my April Dupes series as a dupe for the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And I actually felt like this kind of won out. It's super thick and kind of tacky. It is very full coverage. When you do wear this, you have to kind of like paint it on with a brush and then let it sit. You need to kind of let the natural warmth of your body like melt the concealer and like let it bake a little bit with the heat of your body before you blend it out. And then you will have a flawless finish, I promise you. It comes in 12 shades, so not the biggest shade range. You should not use this as a eyeshadow base because it is a little too thick and tacky. It doesn't blend and sit well with the eyeshadows itself. Um, this is really meant for like just the under eyes. Um, I haven't, again, used this one quite as much as I probably would like to just because with the need to like paint it on, let it sit. I don't oftentimes have the time for that with a four-year-old, but with it being extremely full coverage and giving like a wonderful, flawless under eye look, it goes on the list of my favorites. Also, at $5.99 to $12, Ulta Online listed this at $5.99. However, I remember, I think I paid $10 for it at Ulta, in April, the $5.99 might have been for like a Black Friday deal. I don't, I'm not exactly sure. The last concealing product that we are talking about is from Maybelline. It is these Master Camo Color Correcting Pens. I have it in green, lavender, pink, and apricot. These retail for $9.99 and you can find them at Ulta, Maybelline, online, in drugstores, wherever Maybelline products are sold. However, they are a little bit on the more difficult side to find because online, the only colors that I found that they have offered was green and apricot, which really makes me upset because I think that they're gonna discontinue these. All of my favorite things just get discontinued and I can't stand it. Why I really like these, the formula is very um, creamy and it isn't as thick. So the e.l.f. Cosmetics ones were like thick and kind of like clay-like. These are a little bit more on the creamy, I don't want to say liquid side, but like creamy liquid side with still giving tons of pigment. A little bit goes a long way. The only thing that I'm not like crazy about is the design of these um, with like these foamy applicators and like the twist up lip gloss like dispensing. I don't really like that because I oftentimes twist too much and then too much product comes out and then I just feel like it's a waste. However, I used to keep these in my kit. I love the lavender and the light pink ones to really like brighten up dull areas on my face. I'm really upset that they only 
carry like the two colors now but again a little bit goes a long way so you don't have to buy them very often uh, because when you're color correcting it's not like you're color correcting your whole face so there's that I think what I also really like about these is that they lay nicely underneath makeup when you put them on, let them sit, and then blend them out, and then you put your foundation and your concealer over top of them, they just lay very nicely under makeup. They do not like disturb the natural finish. They don't mess anything up. They actually correct, and they stay where they're supposed to be, if that makes sense. All right, guys, so that was it. It was just a quick little buying guide, if you will, of my favorite concealers as of late. All of them are full coverage because I'm a full coverage kind of gal. That's what we do here. It's either one or the other. There is no in-between. I will list all of these concealers down in the description box below so you can check them out on your own time. If you have a favorite concealer that I did not mention in this video, please, 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 please say it in the comment section below. I love a good concealer recommendation. Like, concealer is life. Also, if you have a good coffee recommendation, I will also take the coffee recommendation for my coffee connoisseur husband and my creamer and sugar coffee life. Let me know all of that in the uh, comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up. As always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on any more videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys.